How's it going guys? Lucas here. Let me introduce you to a new era of toolkit, which is the Lazy Panda toolkit and everything that is currently um, the LBT toolkit will slowly move into the Lazy Panda toolkit. Lazy Panda toolkit, you can see a little lazy sleeping panda here, just includes a lot of tools that provide you with easy access to daily tasks. Things that you do over and over and over again. And at some point you're just getting annoyed building them. So these tools will speed up the process a little bit. And the first one in the kit is the Align Curve tool. So let me show you what the Align Curve tool is all about. As you can already see from the name, it's probably something with curves and alignment. You can see here I draw a curve on an object. And if I go into the tool now and actually disconnect the geometry, um, you can see I get little arrows here. And to just show it a little bit better, I merge it with the original geometry. And you can see right away, all of these arrows are pointing outside. And if I go to the curve tool and draw another curve, you can see it's happening for the other ones as well. Um, to make it a little bit clearer, let me reset this to default where I'm not replicating any points. And you can see every point along this curve, um, you can change the amount with the resample here, um, is pointing outwards from the object normal. This obviously also can be done with like um, the curve alignment in Houdini, like the standard one that is inside of Houdini. But I figured in a lot of, t like a lot of times it's actually quite difficult to make it align to the object and then on top of it, transform the pieces. Um, so I tried to make that a little simpler. So you basically just input a curve and you import a geometry. It doesn't necessarily have to be the geometry you're drawing on. It can be another one, but this makes it more evident, I guess. Um, so we're using this example for now. You have a few more settings, like basic point scattering settings, if you want. Um, for once you have replicate points, which just creates more points around the drawn points to get like a bit of randomization. Um, right now it's only three and the uniform scale is basically how far they spread apart. Um, let's keep that a little lower. Um, from there, let me delete that super quick. Um, from there you have like a base scale, which is obviously object scale, minimum, maximum. Um, so what's the smallest, what's the biggest? And then we go to the orientation. This is also very basic, um, but it can be quite tricky to do because you have to convert the up vector to an orient and do matrix, blah, blah, blah. So that makes it a little bit easier in this case. Obviously, it doesn't give you like the whole flexibility if you do it by hand, but in case you need to have something done quickly, um, this should help you out. So you can see we have an angle. For now, it's set to all and you can see the pieces pitch in all angles. We have a rotation speed. So if I hit play, you can see they rotate. I can make it zero, they don't move. I can make it lower, they move a bit. I can put it to one and you can see they rotate in all directions. I can say why. So they only turn. Um, and you will see this angle is random. So every number you put in here is randomized between all the pieces and it's between, for example, now it's between one and minus one. So if I do 360, it's between, between 360 and minus 360. So let's say 180 uh, for rotation in this case. And yeah, all of these spin. Obviously, again, you can make it way quicker. Uh, I can make it super, super slow. Um, and you can pick other axes as well. So for example, you could pick the Z axis. So you can see. They're now turning along the Z axis on the curve. Um, same goes for X, probably looking a little bit weird in this case. Yeah, but again, not the full flexibility as it is right now, but it already helps you out with a lot of things, I think. Um, and it will get a few more features. So let me set that back to Y rotation and show you one more more feature if I replicate points you can see uh, they're all sort of intersecting um, I don't really like that it's a little bit ugly so I can do fix it uh, intersections and you can see now it's fixing them they don't intersect anymore uh, you can tweak the iterations 
I would probably let it a hundred all the time. Um, only if it's getting really, really slow, you can set it down, but that should only happen with a ton of points. And yeah, from there you can tweak the radius a bit more. So if you say, uh, yeah, but they're too far apart, you can, you can change this up in here as well. And if I switch to lit spheres, for example, um, no, doesn't work. <laughs> Uh, never mind, but you can you can just input whatever geometry in here as well. So everything you put in here will be copied to the point. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for um, the first Lazy Panda tool. I hope you like it, and if you have any suggestions for other tools for things that bother you every time you set up a scene, um, let me know, and maybe we can implement them in the future. Cheers.